Hey guys, welcome to the Solution Architect channel. In this video, we will focus on configuring MySQL on Linux, but also then connecting it from our Windows machine using MySQL Workbench to connect to the, the MySQL server that is installed on Linux Ubuntu 18.04. So let's jump into this video. So before we go into um, Linux to inst not install to configure um, MySQL. I think it's a good idea to go and download. So if you're using a Windows machine, you can go to mysql.com and you can download the workbench to to connect to your SQL Server that is located on the Linux machine. So I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. But first of all, if you don't have uh, workbench yet you go to mysql.com and you go to downloads and there's a lot of things here that you can look look at downloading um, you don't want to go the enterprise route because you're going to pay for that um, the best place to go is your community downloads so go to mysql community gpl downloads and you can see there's a lot of different things you can download here um, if you want to install MySQL on a Windows machine, you can go into the community server here and install it from there. Um, we've done it on Linux, so we're not going to do that. We already installed it in a previous video. MySQL Workbench, this is the one that you want for Windows. Um, and you can select your, your operating system. You can also as you can see workbench also works for linux if you only have a linux machine you can also install it on on ubuntu, ubuntu linux um, and download i'm not going to download because i've already installed it download it run it install it it's just a normal windows msi installer and you will get to a version that looks like something like this and um, then we, then i'm going to show you how to set up your connection to the michael's mysql server but let's go to Ubuntu. So inside Ubuntu, we've got, uh, we went to our terminal and I'm just gonna paste what I've got in here. So this is sudo nano means I'm gonna edit uh, this file, the MySQL config file. And I'm gonna go down here to, until you find bind address. Now this is gonna bind it to your localhost address you don't want to do that otherwise you won't be able to access it from remotely there's several ways of doing this some people recommend you putting a 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. then then you become uh, very tied up to ip addresses and things like that um, now i find doing it like that when you have a uh, a virtual machine running on ubuntu and you're connecting it from windows machine sometimes it's just sometimes maybe it's just my setting but sometimes it's not working for me so just uh, save that. Just um, so you just put a hash in front of that bind address and you save that. And then um, sudo service mysql restart. So I'm gonna now quickly show you something from Workbench. I've set it up on Workbench. So you want to uh, understand what is your IP address. Um, but before we go there, you want to understand what is your IP address. And in Linux, it's ifconfig. If you did not, if it's a clean install, you did not install, uh, it, will, it will actually tell you to install netstats. So if you haven't installed that, uh, you cannot run ifconfig and that will give you IP address of your Linux machine and this is what you need to be able to log on to Workbench. So I'm, I'm going to skip to Workbench quickly and um, I'm just going to click on this. I've already if, edited the connection. If you if you set up a connection here, you, you set up a new connection and you create a standard T TSP IP connection the host address and it will always use port uh, 3306 to access your your uh, MySQL server. Um, I use root is probably not the best way 
but just for demo purposes if for example if you are looking at production you have to create a user on mysql you have to uh, grant it privileges uh, and i'll i'm going to show you how to grant privileges to the root access to be able to allow my windows home machine to connect to the linux ubuntu server that's uh, running on hyper-v uh, virtual machine um, you store the password in there and test connection and you'll see immediately the problem i get here is that my home pc name comes up S some might not get that some might get an ip address that you need to allow your home pc ip address on my sequel mine wants my my home pc name allowed on my sequel server so this is what i need to do on my sequel to grant the privileges there and i'm going to show you now how to do that um, and there is a lot of other things that you can allow we'll get into that let's jump into the ubuntu server okay so we are in ubuntu so now we want to log in sudo mysql user is root and you want to log in with a password and what you want to do now is you want to grant so you know in in sql server you can run sql queries and things like that here To root root at and then sometimes you have to use an IP address and sometimes the computer name just depending on what you uh, get from the workbench so I would su suggest set up your workbench first create your connection and see what actually uh, comes back from that and you need to identify identified identified and make sure spelling is correct by and the password oh yeah this is not my this is just a temporary password i'm using for this and I just want to make sure i write everything correct press enter and then you Type in flush privileges and enter. And then you have to exit and restart your um, SQL services. Restart. So sudo service MySQL restart. Okay, now let's go back to the workbench. Okay, now back in MySQL workbench. Got everything set up here. Um, say test. And you've got a successful a connection. So just that one setting. Now I know there's a lot of guys out there that's got a lot, a lot of different things. Would say you need to set up your firewall. Yes, you can do that on... Um, on, on Linux using the UFW uh, for for setting your firewalls you allow a certain uh, ports and this will be the port that you allow because this is home setting I'm not running in the cloud or anything like that um, I'm not gonna do do that but just be be wary if it is something that you're gonna run somewhere in the cloud I would suggest you set up those firewall rules but um, to speed up the videos, I'm going to just use this connection string uh, or connection to, to connect to MySQL. So now I can go here and click connect. Uh, just some content errors in my, in my configuration. But don't worry about that. So now you've got access to your system database and you can start creating databases. So we're going to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.